Hey guys, RTT back here for another video. Guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Surface Zero 2 and taking a look at Microsoft Office. Now, I do have a keyboard and mouse connected to this actual device. So right here, this is a $30 Bluetooth keyboard and a $12 Bluetooth mouse. Now, as you guys see, when I do move around my actual mouse, it does pop up on the screen because once you connect a mouse and keyboard to this phone, it actually legitimately becomes an actual little mini laptop, which is absolutely awesome. Now, of course, you can use this in actual laptop mode for the phone. I like the phone holder and having it like this because then it kind of looks like an actual display. Either or is a great option, but this phone holder is $15 on Amazon. So for this Microsoft Office setup, this whole entire setup can be gotten for less than $60, which is very cheap and affordable in all honesty. Now there's other keyboards on the market, uh, Bluetooth keyboards special that go ahead and like they fold up and stuff. If you are looking for something where you really just want to go ahead and take it with you at all times, you could go ahead and get a fold up keyboard, but to be honest, I don't know how many people are going to be putting their keyboard in their pocket. So with that in mind, if you are doing for a backpack, this is a nice little keyboard to go ahead and do that with. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in real fast and take a look at Microsoft Office. So I go ahead and bring it up right here. Again, like I've always said about Surface Zero 1 and 2, I absolutely love the dual screen action because you have that split up display right away without any hassle at all. With the Galaxy Fold 3, you have to go ahead and actually split displays yourself. This way you actually have it all ready to go without any hassle. So let's go ahead and bring up a Word document. We got Microsoft Word right here. And I'm going to go ahead and actually just go back, uh, clear that. And just like normal, like you would on the keyboard and mouse, on a micro computer, you can just start typing. So this is uh, Ryan. Bam, just like that. No issue at all. Now, I will say using Microsoft Office on without a keyboard and mouse it's not that it's difficult to use and it's not that it doesn't work correctly, but it is a little bit more difficult and you have to get used to typing on the Surface Zero 1 and 2. Like for example, I went ahead and switched to a Galaxy Z Fold 3 for my daily driver for a little bit of time. And because I did that, I actually forgot how to type on the Surface Zero 2. There are different keyboards you can get to make it easier to type, but a lot of the keyboards you have on the Surface Zero 2 just simply are a little bit more harder to type on. So you got to keep in mind, you know, find the correct uh, actual keyboard for you. But if you don't want to, you can always just use a keyboard and mouse like I'm doing right here, which is very easy and very simple. So again, another really cool concept is I've done this a lot with college because you guys, I've been, I've told you guys I'm in college. Um, you can actually go ahead and a lot of the documents, let's say, for example, homework assignments you get, uh, sometimes, especially when I was doing computer and business 101, I would get a lot of document, a lot of, um, word documents as homework assignments and they send you the thing. You can easily pull them up on here without any hassle at all. And start editing, typing up, do the whole entire thing, send it and submit it from just your phone, which is really amazing. Now, Microsoft office is not free. Okay, so there is a subscription you have to pay. I forget exactly which description is for Microsoft Office. I know it's 365, uh, which is, is pretty much the same thing. That does go ahead and cost you around $20 to $30 a month. So this one, I think, costs you around like, I want to say $10 a month, I want to say. Something in that ballpark. So again, it depends on what you go ahead and, you know, want out of your Microsoft Office. But depending on what plan you get, you can, I think, get as low as $10 a month. So we go ahead and get out of Word. We can actually go in now into Excel. And Excel actually is really, really cool. And I've actually been doing a lot of my, I have a fantasy football channel. And I do a lot of Excel sheets. Every single week, I do a lot of Excel sheets. And when I do them, I actually do go ahead and have them set up just like this i literally will have my monitor in the background here watching some youtube and i'll go ahead and just start typing up right, right just like this it's very easy very simple for me especially because like again i'm not like distracted completely with my other monitors i'm just typing them up going one by one by one and again i also do use it for college but i also use it for my other youtube channels so we're going like say for example like if i'm going to go ahead and type in chris johnson i'll go ahead and put his name in here shout out to cj2k and i just like that i can go ahead and actually change the uh cell just like i could on you know regular pc without any hassle and then let's add you know i'm putting like dk points whatever dk projection i can just do that real fast probably then let's say he's getting i don't know 25 dk projection uh, let me go ahead and i did not realize it's still not a cell all right 
there we go so like if i'm putting in my total num locks 25 points right so again very easy very simple that's why i do love this phone um now is there any difference between a surface Duo one microsoft excel and a surface Duo two microsoft Excel? the answer to that question is really honestly no okay the only real difference is of course the screen layout with the bezels right so you get more screen with the microsoft uh, surface duo 2 than you do with the duo 1 so the only benefit of the upgrade in microsoft office would be having the ability to you know actually um having the ability to actually go ahead and have less bezels now for excel you can actually spread the screen across both displays and have an even bigger you know whole entire display which i like a lot and i think is really cool now for word it doesn't let you do that so if you guys do the same concept but for word documents you're gonna actually go ahead and not be able to spread it across like this so it does kind of suck for word documents you're not able to spread the whole entire thing across but for excel documents you are which is really really cool and i love it and i will definitely say that's a big plus for excel but for again like i said word documents you're not able to spread them across both screens which does kind of suck but it is whatever at the end of the day so we go ahead and go back here let's go ahead and open up a powerpoint uh document so let's see what this looks like so we create um create from actually wait can i create a new one uh let's create from template then okay so madison there we go bam so you guys can see again like i said so easy so simple and if you are in college you guys already know powerpoint and another thing you have to do a crap ton of so just so say subscribe let's so go ahead and type in subscribe here to rtt bam and just like that i can go ahead and do whatever i need to do here so subscribe to rtt all good i don't know how to do the powerpoint how do I actually go ahead and show the presentation? I'm not sure how you do that. I have not used PowerPoint too, too much in this. And most of the time when I use PowerPoint, I just go ahead and send it in the file. So I'm not sure how you actually do the presentation of the whole entire thing. Like you actually show the presentation. But for PowerPoint, if I spread it across both screens, you guys are going to see it does go horizontally, which is now kind of weird. Let me go ahead and get out of this because horizontally just doesn't work out for me um especially the way i have this oriented uh so again like i said some of these apps some of these things don't work too too well when you go ahead and put them in phone or when you put them in dual screen mode but obviously at the same time some of them do so i go ahead and actually open up a word document again this one right here right and i have this is ryan this is another reason why i said a million times why i love 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 the stuff Studio one and two and it's that dual screen action. Now, the Galaxy Fold 3 does have dual screen action. You can actually open up two applications in one time. The only issue is that it really doesn't have two 5.8 inch panels on either side of the screen. And the real issue with that, and again, the only issue with that is that you just really miss out on some information and it's harder to type on one screen when half the screen is covered, right? So this, of course, will be War of 1812, just like always this just makes it so much easier one side you got the word document the other side you got the war of 1812 so such an easy concept such an easy setup definitely would recommend going ahead and i will say overall microsoft office absolute w for this device it really seems like it was just made for this device and i know microsoft made it so yeah obviously microsoft with the word document and obviously them all together guys tell me down below your thoughts